Here you are. Ribeye, medium rare. Thank you. Some more Pinot Grigio? Uh, no. I think I will switch to the Syrah. Sir, are you all right? He's drunk. See? Malalak nat kaba. Does anyone speak Korean? Is anyone a doctor? Yes. I'll go get her. Do you really think I was going to leave you stuck back here for 18 hours? Come on, enjoy. The mic and the wine, I could sleep anywhere. Thank you. Is that guy really sick? No, he's all better. I don't believe you. Look that way. Why? Because you're gonna throw up and I don't want it on me. I'll get some towels. Give her a banana. Monkey see, monkey barf. You smell vomit. I need help. Who doesn't? I need someone to talk to. Can you say, crikey, mate? Crikey, mate. Perfect. Now, no matter what I say, you agree with me, okay? Okay. Nicely done. You disagree with everything I say. Sorry, not understanding. That's close enough. And you get morally outraged at everything I say. That's a permanent marker, you know. Wow. You guys are good. We are looking for the simplest way to explain these symptoms. Organophosphate poisoning. Some international flights spray pesticides. Uh, could be. Sorry, English not so nice. Is this a joke? Just past the halfway mark. Can't turn around. Nice call. No worries. We think it's pesticide poison. We don't spray these flights. Dramamine overdose. Wouldn't explain the fever. Jet lag. Wouldn't explain the abdominal pain. Deep vein thrombosis. Wouldn't explain the nausea. Food poisoning. What was on the menu? Steak and sea bass in first class. Fettuccine and seafood kebabs in economy. Since when does food poisoning cause a rash? Sea bass, seafood kebabs? He had the sea bass. Please tell me she had the kebabs. I think so. Shigatera poisoning. It's an instant onset toxin. Symptoms include E, all of the above. It's only found in certain kinds of tropical game fish, such as... Sea bass? Make sure you get a resume from him. Hello? Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a brief announcement concerning your meals. If you ate the sea bass or the seafood kebabs, you have ingested a dangerous toxin. However, if you proceed to the restrooms, both on your left and right at the rear of the plane, and vomit as soon as possible, the toxic effect should be minimal. Thank you. Thank you, and have a pleasant flight. Meningococcus makes just as much sense. I know. Definitely a taxi, yeah. It's definitely a rash. 
look at it for five more minutes before concluding it's also definitely a leg. Thin leg. It's been in a cast. So? So it could be radiation poisoning. From a broken leg. From the x-rays they took of it. You could break every bone in his body and still not have enough x-rays to cause radiation sickness. Unless those x-rays were performed in Wankoff, North Korea, by a third grade dropout with a 50-year-old imager. Which accounts for the absence of fur. Radiation poisoning accounts for all his symptoms. I have hair. I haven't had an x-ray since I got my teeth whitened. You're pregnant. I'm what? Explains the nausea, abdominal pains, fever. And why you're stuffing your 36 C's into a 34 B bra. And her rash? Pups. Common pregnancy rash. I can't be pregnant. You a virgin? No, but... You're pregnant. Muzzle tough. Let's get him into the chair. Two different diagnoses. Thought you didn't believe in coincidences. I believe in statistics. 200 passengers on the plane. 10 should be gay. Two should be with child, and one should be incredibly annoying with an extra ass chromosome. House. Get him some iodized salt to protect his thyroid. I'm going back. House. You're wrong. We should have turned back. You should have listened to me. Now we're eight miles over the Arctic. I'm trying to listen to you now, so shut up. Heart's fine. Breasts are firm. Is it contagious? A lot of the passengers are scared. Tell them there's nothing to worry about. Is there something to worry about? Yeah. Tell them there's nothing to worry about. Give me a flashlight. 